you know, you just, this thing, it never, you're never all the way in it, you're never all the way out of it, so you just keep going, and you really lean on the fact that you've been establishing relationships for a long time, um, I mean, as little as a few months to, you know, three and four years, sometimes even more so, uh, you just want to make sure that it's real with everybody, because at the end of the day, it, when you finish off this class, right, this is like a, a monster step towards your goals as a football program. And you got to be able to hit on all cylinders from a, a talent standpoint, work ethic standpoint, character standpoint. So you want to see all that hard work come to fruition. And, you know, when the clock strikes midnight, right, you know, when you're ready for the next one, you like kind of turn to a pumpkin and keep rolling for the next one. During this season, you didn't really shy away from how inferior the product was on the field relative to what your standard is. I enjoyed it because of the business I'm in. I think a lot of people were kind of taken by surprise that you were so blunt and you were so honest. And it was always, to me, spoken with one eye on the field, one eye on what I'm about to do in this signing class combined with the portal. So based on what you knew your needs were, how many boxes did you check with this class so far? Well, we checked most of them. You know, honestly, I'm uh, very grateful for past experiences because they're, they're almost all identical, all these rebuilds, right? And it starts with the roster. And, you know, we hit we hit some home runs and, and trying to get some grand slams here, and we're not done yet. But we checked most of the boxes. We still have to, uh, you know, we're not done. We're not done. We, we're not satisfied with where it's at right now, but there's still some meat left on the bone out there in terms of, you know, the defensive tackle position, the outside wide receiver position, um, a couple more skill positions. You know, um, there's some stuff out there. And again, the portal changes things, not to mention, you have to have a deep board because you've got to prepare for the next round of the transfer portal, right? I mean, this is a real thing now, and, you know, decisions are made throughout the course of the year. And, you know, it's hard to, you know, tell sometimes, you know, who's really thinking of what. So with talent acquisition always comes roster assessment analysis 24-7, right? The most important um, thing that you can always do as a head coach is always look to upgrade every facet of your program starting with the roster. In this era. You talked about the portal there. I can't talk about the portal without also talking about NIL because they're kind of joined at the hip. I want to know as a head coach, when you're down the home stretch in these recruitments, there was something different this cycle. We talked about the stat. We woke up this morning, 92% of the top 247 were already verbally committed somewhere. We've never seen a number that high. The best we could tell, it was having NIL involved, which kind of maybe gives you the freedom to 48 or 72 or 96 hours ahead of time say, I need a decision. I need to know right now. Did you experience any of that or was it the same old, same old for you? You know, it's been the same old, same old, really. I mean, we've been fortunate enough to over the course of several years, um, hang on to 95% of the class for the most part and solidify those commitments, you know, way in advance. You know, we had some momentum down the stretch this past week. That certainly helped things, but, um, Obviously, NIL is a factor now, especially at places where NIL is, is really a thing and where the NIL programs are, are significantly better than in other places. And that's part of some of the things, but it's not the entire picture. So, you know, all in all, you just, the rules are changing, I feel like, all the time, right? Every single year. And our job is to adapt, you know, play by the rules and just continue to find ways to maximize your ability to develop, recruit, uh, coach, all that good stuff to make sure that your program is constantly taking steps towards its goals. I got our guy Cooper Patagno over here. He don't really care about any of that. What he wants to know is how many of these guys are about to be on the field this coming fall? Because you got, by our estimation, a pretty loaded signing class here. It's a it's a loaded signing class. It really is. Um, I mean, the guys that we targeted are Miami Hurricanes, and that's hard to do. And you know, I had a chance to work with that guy there beside you for a little bit. That guy's unbelievable, the best in the business, and. And he'll tell you when you start when you start like putting your crosshairs on certain targets, like man, that's exactly what we're looking for. That's going to make a difference here. Um, he can be a game changer right away in the locker room, on the field, and you end up landing those guys. Wow, I mean, that's a strong moment. You can't wait to get those guys on campus. You can't wait to get them on campus because you feel like the guys that we have that are part of this culture and growing this culture are going to do a great job mentoring these guys. Going to do a great job bringing them in and teaching them. You know how we do things and uh, to accelerate their growth and development because they have to play we're in a situation where as a program um, this class the members of the class whether they be transfers or incoming freshmen they have to be significant contributors and we made that very clear while we we're recruiting them and making
make sure that you're going to have to earn that time. You know, just because you're a highly recruited guy um, doesn't mean that you are warranted, you know, it's warranted that you're going to get playing time. You've got to earn it. And I think that's respected. I think transparency and honesty goes a long way, and it's led to a historic class for the University of Miami. Mario Cristobal, Miami head coach. A busy day, not done. I know you still got irons in the fire. Go tend to him. We appreciate you taking some time to join us. Appreciate you guys. Have a great day. Go Canes.